Well, good morning, everyone. And uh, I want to uh, welcome you to our webinar to talk about our virtual conference platform. Uh, my name is Susan Malazzo. I run the California MBA, and I'm joined today by uh, my conference manager, Jennifer Roth, and Paul Gelati, who is Chief Operating Officer at Pinnacle Home Loans and uh, co-chair for our Mortgage Innovators Conference and a member of my board of directors. So we wanted to put this together today to, um, because I think we all acknowledge that we have to participate in conferences in a virtual platform this year, but what's that really going to look like? And uh, how are we going to be able to interact through it and see sessions and connect with people? So we thought we'd walk through it today and uh, hopefully share a lot of great information with you so that you have a great level of comfort getting, uh, getting involved. Now, we have three conferences this year, our Mortgage Innovators Conference, our Western Secondary Market Conference, and our Western States Commercial Real Estate Conference, our CREF Conference. So we'll be using the same platform for all three of those conferences. Today's purposes, we're going to be using the, um, the portal for the Mortgage Innovators Conference because it's happening uh, first and it's got the most information that is, um, that's uploaded. So um, I have, uh, Jennifer is going to uh, be doing uh, the slideshow today and kind of walking through what the portal is gonna look like. So the first thing that you will receive is a conference experience kit and uh, make sure that we have the right address for you. A lot of us are working remotely. We'll make sure that this gets to you. Um, this has uh, in some logoed items from our awesome sponsors, uh, as well as some um, drink recipes for our reception. We're gonna have some fun at the end of these days. Um, DoorDash card um, to get some um, get um, some snacks while uh, while we're at our conference, and uh, it'll also have some codes for uh, some winning some things and adding to your leaderboard. And we'll get into gamification a little bit later today. Um, the next thing that you'll receive is an email, and this will be the email that is inviting you to set up in uh, the virtual experience. So uh, the first in thing the event want app. To, in the event app. That's correct. So um, we're first going to start out in the event app, which uh, will um, will show you the difference between that and the virtual portal. So the first thing you want to do after you get this invitation is to log in and set up your profile. So you can log well, in let's, here. Let's take two. Yeah, let's take a little step back into the landing page, Susan. Sure. So the landing page uh, will give you the opportunity to download that app either on your mobile device or on your desktop. So you will click the appropriate um, tool there. And if, it, if you have it on your mobile device, it will look like that. And if it's on your desktop, it's going to look like this. So the next thing you, I'd encourage you to do is to go in and set up your profile. We want to make sure that all of your contact information is correct upload your picture and any information that you'd like to share about your company or yourself with your fellow conference goers. So this is an example of Jennifer's page and um, all of the information that she has shared, including her LinkedIn uh, account, which I think is a, a, a nice ad added a feature. So the, the, uh, the app itself, we're gonna think of it as a tailgate or the event before the event, because we're all do a lot of prep work before we go to conferences and um, it's the very same uh, experience this year. So the first thing that you're going to wanna do is, um, uh, so we go into the app and these will be available about a week prior to the conference opening. So you'll have an opportunity to go in and, um, you know, kind of feel this out so you can see who's involved, where everything is, become familiar with it. So one of the first, you know, what's the reason that we all love going to conferences? It's networking, right? We want to connect with those people in the industry. We want to see our, our friends, meet new, meet new friends, and, uh, and, and, and connect with people and uh, speakers and sponsors alike. So networking is key. So, um, and, it's, and it works much the same in this environment. So we, what you want to do is uh, you want to find the person with whom you'd like to connect. And you want to start a chat. So Jennifer is going to start a chat with me. So you can see here, you can either send me a message or she can uh, request a meeting. 
And on the meeting time, you want to make sure you, you, you put the, you know, the date and the time, but because we are virtual on the location, you want to make sure that you populate that with either your phone number, um, your Google Meet account, your Zoom account, however you'd like to interact with that person. Make sure that you add it there and then you can send that request. So I'll respond back. And you can see that um, how kind of the, uh, the live chat uh, function works. The person receiving a meeting request will get an email. Uh, and it's also a, a shadow um, notification that comes in at the bottom of your screen when someone's trying to connect with you. But you'll get the email and you'll have the opportunity to, um, to accept uh, through the app. So you can see the meetings that Jennifer has uh, pending and the ones that have been confirmed. They're on her schedule. Under the meeting. Uh, you know, as you know, networking is a key component in our world. Uh, the interaction allows you to grow and the collaboration empowers all of us. That, as uh, Susan was saying, that's one of the main reasons why we go to these amazing events. So make sure to utilize this function and um, to better understand it and have it at your fingertips. Tips, Jen is going to be sending out um, a how-to step-by-step instruction manual for it. Yeah, I think that'll be really helpful as we're all kind of learning all of this new uh, new stuff. So be sure to take advantage of all of this. As I say, before the conference starts, you can get some meetings set up. Uh, so the other thing that we want to demonstrate is how the exhibit hall will work. And again, we're still in the app. So this is all the pre-game, pre-event pre, uh, pre information. But here are uh, the list of all of the entities that have exhibit spaces. We're going to be using our space today uh, for purposes to kind of show you how that all works. So you go on the landing page and at the top, you can have an ad. We just have our simple logo listed there right now. Uh, below that, we have all of our social media. How to how to contact us or follow us on any of these um, platforms. You can also upload files, very similar to how you would if you were in an exhibit booth at a live conference. You have you know, you know, um, printouts and handouts, and uh, those can be available here in your virtual exhibit space as well. We can also, uh, I want to take a note just under the About California MBA, you can see that we have a scavenger hunt code in there. And we're going to get into gamification and scavenger hunts in just a bit, but I want to make note that you see that that, um, that code 1955 is there. Sidebar note, 1955 is important to our association because that is when we were formed. So you can also upload uh, all of the, uh, the people that you would like to be representatives of your company if you're an exhibitor. And uh, to the right, you can uh, request a meeting, you can send a chat, sim uh, similar to how we just, uh, we just demonstrated, um, and uh, also follow them on LinkedIn or go to their website. Note that the um, exhibitors will have uh, oh, so you can begin a uh, yeah, you can begin a chat with with anyone there. Um, when you we are in the live uh, portal, the live broadcast, you'll be able to start a live chat, but we're not um, quite there yet. But at this point, you can request meetings with uh, with the exhibitors and get those set up in advance. Um, so next, we're going to move over into the virtual portal itself. So that's a different, similar looking email, but this will be to the virtual portal, not the app. You're going to go ahead and log in there. And at this point, there will be more features uh, and more collateral and more um, opportunities for you to interact during the conference. So the first thing we want to talk about is the lobby area. So um, this is um, uh, where the first landing page that you'll see. Note up in the upper right, there'll be a rolling uh, logos for our conference sponsors, um, uh, followed below that with the public chat area. So um, again, this is kind of the lobby area. This is where you'll all be landing first. You can see who's posted, um, posted hey, welcome, great to see everybody, excited to participate in this conference. All of the public chat will be available there. Your personal notifications are up in the right hand side uh, by the bell. Um, and um, you can see how many people are in that, uh, that virtual area. So think of this as a hotel lobby, right? We're gonna check announcements, see who's there, chat with people. It's gonna be very similar to um, what we would all be doing if we were in person. 
So I think Jennifer, we're going to go on to video chat next. Oh, exciting. You can, <laughs> within <laughs> uh, in the portal, we can uh, start with some um, with some video chat. And we are going to attempt to uh, show you how that functions today. Again, we're going to be uh, providing you information uh, in, uh, uh, in a handout to show you how all of this functions. And so I'm going to, and here I need to turn off this camera. And so we're going to show you how this works. Hi. We had to do it quickly because it does actually um, give us two, um, you know, it, it messes with our audio. So I wanted to make sure that we took that down. But that's a, just a quick demonstration of how the live um, video chat will work. And uh, when you see a re you receive a request for a video chat, you'll receive an email letting you know so-and-so has requested a video chat. And it'll also give you a shadow message uh, in, your, um, in your virtual conference portal. So you can click to see who's requesting it and go to networking and chat and join that video chat. Exhibitors can also see who has gone into their booth. So this is an example of everybody who has come into our booth. And um, so if you are an exhibitor, that's kind of a nice function to say, hey, so-and-so came in, but they didn't ask for a meeting. Maybe I'll reach back out to them and connect with them that way. So well, let's go into sessions and find out uh, a little bit about how the sessions will work. Um, it's very similar to uh, the in-person experience. Uh, you can see the schedule on the left-hand side. When the conference is live, each session during the time that it is noted will be available um, here. And so Dustin, our, our communications director, has uh, taped this, uh, just a demo intro to show you how this is going to operate. Hey everybody, this is Dustin with the California NBA. Hope you're enjoying your tour of our brand new 100% virtual conference experience. It's in these sessions that you're gonna learn about all the latest and greatest that's going on in the industry from our, our uh, industry experts who will talk about everything that you wanna know about what's going on in the industry right now and into the future. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Jennifer and Susan to uh, continue the tour and hope to uh, see you virtually here coming up in a few weeks. Perfect. All right. And so one more note. Note that there's another hunt code, scavenger hunt code right there, 2020. So you can go into gamification when you see things like that. And you can add that code to uh, your points and claim those points. Jennifer's actually already claimed that code, so you can't do it twice. Uh, but <laughs> no cheating. No cheating. No <laughs> cheating. You can see that, um, that uh, you know, you can check back uh, um, to see who is kind of leading in the, uh, the point. So the way the sessions work, um, as you saw, they'll be broadcast there. The speakers will be available for uh, live chat. So they'll be responding to you during the time and date that we have um, available. You can ask them. Remember that you can also post questions to them in advance through the app. But you can also um, ask questions during during the um, uh, during the actual conference itself. For each day, once a session has concluded, you can go back the following day and see the recorded version of that session. So if you missed a session because you have a meeting um, uh, that conflicted, you can always go back the following day and um, see those sessions that you have missed. So, so, Susan, the more and more I'm exposed to these virtual conferences, I'm realizing the efficiencies and the greater effectiveness the virtual conferences can have as it can provide, you know, as opposed to maybe one or two team members going and being a part of and seeing these demos and sessions, you now as a company have the ability to provide the experience of the technology and the innovation across multiple departments within your company. So instead of you as a singular or you and another team member walking to an exhibit hall and being probably almost overwhelmed with the technology, you can bring team members with you on this virtual experience. 
Exactly, and we've been hearing that from a lot of our members as well. Um, another um, uh, another aspect in the virtual portal uh, is the exhibit hall. So there are additional functions and features that are available once you're in the virtual portal. Um, you can uh, do you can join the live um, chat, video chat with um, with any of the representatives there, as well as and and functions the same as we have demonstrated as well as um, you can see a demo from that company. So I encourage all of the exhibitors to go to a demo um, um, video so that people can get a little bit more information about your product or your service or your company um, uh, before, they, um, before they engage you with a, uh, with a meeting request. Also, there's another one of our scavenger hunt codes, um, 1955. Um, so remember um, that these codes will be um, kind of hidden throughout the conference um, through, um, through a wide variety of things, including um, people's bios, descriptions of companies, descriptions of sessions could be hidden in their exhibit spaces. So you really wanna make sure that you engage and kind of explore all throughout the virtual portal to make sure A, you're getting the benefit of all the fabulous information that's being shared, but also um, find those fun codes so that you can um, see your, your position uh, rise up on the leaderboard. Come on, we're all competitive people. We wanna be at the top of that board, right? And how many points is it for a lender to get their registration fees refunded in full? Right. So at the Mortgage Innovators Conference, if you are a lender and you're registered for the Mortgage Innovators Conference, you need to reach 500 points to show your engagement. And then we will be refunding your registration fees in full. So there's a few ways that you can, um, that you can earn points. I think uh, Jennifer is going to show that is through asking questions. Um, posing, uh, posting a discussion topic, uh, creating a new meeting, accepting a meeting. So this will kind of give you an idea of how you can, um, you can earn more points throughout the conference. So um, you definitely want to make sure that you are well engaged and, um, and see your spot, um, your, your name rise up on that leaderboard. Yes, and I do want to make a quick note that there's different ways to do it. You can uh, do it in the event app, and you can do it in the virtual portal. So there's different ways in different places that you can uh, redeem these points. And while the event is live, you can still get points if you're interacting with the app. Excellent. Excellent. See that. All right. So, uh, and so if I could point out just real quick, Susan, I just wanted to yeah. point out two quick things. In the event feed, we welcome you to post uh, any pictures of yourself, um, anything that you wanted to talk about. It's, it's really an opportunity to kind of use it as, your, as our own internal personal Twitter, which is kind of fun. So you can post to the event feed. We um, encourage that you can do text posts or you can upload photos. And in your conference experience kit, there is a little selfie card that says, I'm an innovator. We'd love to see everybody posting in that. And then you can also do uh, discussions as well. If you are so inclined, you could post something up here and uh, start a new discussion. If you wanted to talk about something um, that is relevant to the conference, you can go ahead and post that here. And you do get points for doing all of those things. And that's also where you can uh, put in questions ahead of time to the speakers. So if you wanted to ask a question of a speaker, you can go ahead and do that in this uh, portal as well, if that is something that you were uh, in inclined to want to do in a session. It's very easy once you're in it in order to take advantage of all these really cool features. So you can go ahead and ask questions. <laughs> Who does your hair? When will this be live? <laughs> Uh, so, so you know, we want to um, make sure, yeah, that we're kind of hitting all the all the points. And and again, the idea is to be able to provide you as robust an experience through this virtual portal as you would have an in as an in person experience. So, um, I think that uh, and and the and the points again for the gamification are hidden, um, you know, throughout throughout the conference. And there will also be some um, some codes in your conference experience kit that'll either allow you to win prizes or um, 
or add to your uh, this, your score on the leaderboard. Um, those with, you're not a lender, or if you're coming to another conference, those that are uh, the highest up on the leaderboard will be receiving some really cool prizes that we'll be awarding to folks uh, after the conference concludes. So with that, um, I welcome, if you have a question, you can pose it in the questions dialog box. Um, I've had a few people ask, and, and I'll just make an announcement, we are recording this, and it will be available on our um, event webpage so that you can revisit this. Uh, as Paul mentioned earlier, Jennifer's also developing a handout that we're gonna be made available on our website and to everybody registered for the webinar today. That will look uh, much like this. <laughs> It'll show you uh, a kind of a step-by-step -step on how to make virtual networking made easy because we wanna make sure that, um, we wanna make sure that everybody is, uh, is experiencing the same thing. So, uh, let's see, I had, uh, is one person's registration a fee for the entire company? No, everybody would need to register on their own and have their own unique uh, experience or, or uh, profile set up within each of the conferences. Uh, oh, can booth staffers attend sessions? Absolutely, you're registered for the conference just like everyone else, so you will be, have all the functionality um, as a staff person, as an exhibit booth, you'll have all the functionality that Jennifer just uh, walked us through today. So absolutely. The attendee list uh, will be available after the conference uh, for those who have registered. So we will make that available. But again, you can also kind of use uh, the networking functions within this platform to connect with people um, while, you're, um, while you're experiencing the conference. Uh, oh, and someone asked, can you do a video chat with multiple people at a time? Absolutely. If you set up your, um, if you set up your, send your meeting request and use your own Zoom account, you can um, have multiple people um, participate in that. It, it, it would, it would just, it would be functional just as a Zoom or Google Meet or Go to, Go to Meeting, which is what we use. Um, you can have multiple people involved in that as well. Uh, yes, the conference experience kit is limited to the first 500 registrants. And so um, we are making sure that um, we're encouraging everybody. I know that it's um, a virtual conference. You don't have as much travel time to think about, but make sure that you get registered because it is limited to the first 500 people. Um, so I encourage you to, um, to get your registration in for any of the events that you are, um, that you are interested in. And I will say that um, for the conference experience kit for the Mortgage Innovators Conference, the last day that we can guarantee that we can get the kit to you is Monday the 3rd. You need to register by then, if possible, just for mailing and shipping. We do have the intent of wanting to send these out, but if you want to receive it prior to the conference, you need to give us the opportunity to be able to get it in the mail and ship it to you. So I would highly encourage you to uh, suggest to your colleagues and yourself that you will want to go in and uh, register. I also, um, if it's okay, Susan, can I give a couple of hints of some of the other cool stuff that we have happening um, during the Absolutely. conference? Yes. So you will see that there is a, a, a few things in here as far as like the DoorDash coupon that you'll be receiving, and there's some drink recipes. And we have a professional bartender who's gonna be showing us how to make these drinks and uh, there might be a couple of fun little treats in your uh, mortgage ex or your conference experience kit to help you out with that as well um, we're also going to have live entertainment on monday august 17th uh, that is right after the uh, uh how you learn to make your craft cocktail so if you set some time aside in your day it's not a long uh, uh, a performance, but it's going to be an interactive one. So we'll have a playlist and we're going to do some mashups and have some fun while you enjoy your craft cocktail. And we might have some other uh, really cool uh, things happening interspersed in the conference as well. Uh, we have some tricks up our sleeve and that's a hint <laughs> as well. And uh, so I think that uh, I, I think some of the questions are being uh, asked are kind of things that we have already covered. So I think this concludes today's webinar. And I want to thank all of you for joining us. 
and uh, we are happy to be able to provide such a, a great experience for you this year. We'll look forward to interacting with you in our virtual world for all of our conferences in 2020. That's it for today's presentation, and thank you for joining us.